Hi, I'm Silian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint an easy, step-by-step -step picture of apples. Enjoy! So we'll start with the green apple. Or, or like a golden delicious. It's that shade of permanent green mixed with yellow. And it's not going to be a circular shape. It's sort of a lumpy roundish shape. Whiter on top, narrower towards the bottom. And that little pit where the stem comes out of, we'll just darken it with a little bit of gray. And we'll put that color around in a sort of circular way. And using the same gray, we'll put some shadow. And blend it on the side. Since the right side of our fruit is in the shadow, that's the side we added the gray. And we just blend it until it's the right level of darkness, not too dark. And the area on top near the stem, we'll also blend it out. And some extra darkness right there in the center, right where the stem comes out of. And there's our little stem with some dark green, dark greenish gray. And for the highlighted side of the apple, we'll just dab on some pure white. And using a small brush, we'll blend the edges of it, leaving the very center of it lighter. And taking some of the excess to add highlights around the whole top of the apple. And here we'll make a red apple using Indian red and some crimson and that has a more oval shape and many red apples have slight greenish tones greenish yellow so we'll put that very center of light yellow green and spread it out from there, over the top of the apple. And as we know, red apples aren't really just plain red. If you look closely, you'll see all kinds of colors there. And small dots. And of course, there are the parts that are highlighted. So we left some area up there on the left that was highlighted. And put a little sprinkling of dots all over. And here on the right side, which is the side in the shadow, we added some darker red. And here's more of that yellow green. That will dot all over our lovely apple. Speaking of dots, we'll give the 
yellow apples and dots. But as will be from the same greenish gray color that was used for the shading and for the center. Now back to our red apple. We'll take those dots that we put on before and we'll strip them up and down and make some lines next to them, in between them. And for the highlighted side, we'll add a little bit of pink around that white highlight and some more crimson and darker red on the right side in the shadow. Since the areas just next to the highlight are very light red, bordering on pink, so we'll blend the red with the white, just leaving the actual highlight white and the surrounding area light red pink. Being a transparent color, that crimson really shines over there. And now we'll cut open our apple and see what it looks like inside. So an apple that's cut down the center will look sort of like this. Like two ears stuck together with no head in between. Dipping in on each, on the top and the bottom. And we'll put a little bit of that red on the bottom as well to show how large the apple is. And starting off, off with some yellowish white, we'll fill in that center. leaving the very center where the seed area is somewhat darker. As you can see, it blended a little bit with the red and it left a darker area in the middle and at the edges next to the peel. I'll put some apple seeds. greenish black and we'll show the whole area of where the seeds are kept with some lines and dots and there's the stem and we'll just put a little bit of shadow on the underside of the apple and underneath it as well Here's a small slice from the green apple. This looks sort of like a mountain. And here we have the edges of the peel on the sides and in the front.
the flesh tone of the inside of this apple is different than that of the red apple. If you cut open different varieties of, of apples, you'll see the different colors of white there are, that are inside. There's a creamier, lighter, whitish color, or a more yellow color, even bordering on pink. So being that this is a cut slice of a green apple, it has a whiter look to it. And we'll show some dark shadow, sh um, shadowy area for the very center, where the seed used to be. And we'll add some very white highlights on each slice. We'll put in some edges and outline the seed area and put in that stem. And here's our green slice. <laughs> 